and welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing another stocking stuffer video. Sorry that this one is a little bit late, but I have a much harder time shopping for boy stocking stuffers than for girl stocking stuffers. It's a little bit more challenging for me. So um, I say this at the beginning of all of my stocking stuffer videos. Of course, Santa stuffs the stockings. We have um, a vacation home in Pennsylvania where our family goes like the day after Christmas. And we do hang stockings there. And I always make sure that I put stuff in those stockings in case Santa can't make it because it's safe to assume he's not going to be able to go to two locations for one family because he's super, super busy. So that being said, let me show you what I am going to be including in my 14 year old son's stocking this Christmas. So to start, I picked up a pair of sunglasses for him and I just got these from Walmart. They were five bucks, I think. Yep, five dollars. I think they're really cute. It's something that he always needs when we're on vacation, but he has never really had a decent pair. And not that these are a decent pair because they're only five bucks, <laughs> but it's just good to have anyway for pool time, going to the beach. Um, we cruise a lot as well. So, you know, anytime that you're out in the sun, it's good to have a pair of sunglasses. So I thought he definitely could use that. Okay, and then something else that I have, which I think is like really great for any person, any age, and it fits perfectly in a stocking, and that is an umbrella. My son cannot seem to hold on to an umbrella. I feel like he gets one of these either in his stocking or in his Easter basket every year, and he always seems to lose it, misplace it. He puts it somewhere and forgets where it is. So this is a really cool umbrella that I found on Amazon, and I will leave um, links in the description below for anything that I can find for you, but I definitely will leave a link to this. So this is just a basic black windproof travel umbrella. It's the perfect size to fit in a stocking. So I think that he will definitely appreciate that. And then I also got him thumb chucks and these light up. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, but they light up. They had a few different colors. Um, I found this also at Walmart. A lot of this stuff is gonna be from Walmart, Target, or Amazon, and I will have links for the Amazon stuff. Um, but yeah, it was pretty inexpensive and it's just a fun little item to include. I actually found this on my Spirit Halloween haul when I got everything. I think it was like 90% off after Halloween. So this is just a night glow putty. It's like silly putty. And for me, like that was one of the things I always liked getting in my stocking. I know things are a lot different now and they have much more exciting items that they can receive, but I still like to include it anyway. So he's getting that. Because I'm challenged in what to purchase for a boy for stocking stuffers, I try to get things that are practical and I know that he either uses or needs. And one of the things that he does currently need is a lock for his bike. He rides his bike everywhere and he previously broke or lost or something happened with his previous lock. So I know he needs one of these and it fits perfectly into a stocking. And also I just wanna let you know, I do try to only pick items that actually will fit inside of the stocking. I know a lot of times um, people don't do that. It's kind of becoming more of a gifty thing than a stocking stuffer where people are just getting inexpensive items and maybe wrapping them and putting them underneath the stocking. I try not to do that. I try to just keep stocking stuffers, stocking stuffer size. So. <laughs> Hopefully that's helpful to you. And then I have this um, LED light set also for his bike. So this is good to have because it, it shows you like the amount of brightness on each of those. You can put one in the front and one in the back of the bike. It seems to throw off a lot of light. The runtime on this, depending on how bright you make the light, can range anywhere from 23 to 39 hours. So that's a pretty good run. So I really think that he is going to like having this and it makes me feel better in case he is traveling when it's starting to get dark out or something. It always makes me nervous when he's out on his bike and it starts to get dark out. So I would feel better if he had these lights on his bike. And then this is the, is the last bike related item. And this is a deluxe tube repair kit. It has everything that you need in here to repair your tires if you happen to get a flat or you have a leak or whatever is going on. It's a nice little repair kit just to keep with you on your bike. And then I got him this multi-tool lighter. It's windproof, it's a lighter, a knife, a corkscrew, and a bottle opener. And it has like a camo uh, design on it. Let's show that to you guys. 
and I think that any teenage boy would probably like having something like this. Some chapstick, because everyone needs chapstick in the winter months anyway, as well as gloves, and these are those inexpensive, I think they're like only one or three dollars or something, but it's a two pack, and he really likes these the most. He seems to wear them all the time just because they're so basic. They're not too big and puffy. They're comfortable for when he's like walking the dogs in the morning and things like that. So he's gonna get some of these gloves. And then I have a couple of like beauty items. I have the hair gel that he uses. This is the Axe Styling Made Easy. Um, it's the signature smooth look. That's the one that he always uses, so I picked up one of those for him. As well as this, it's Healthy Feet O'Keefe's Lotion. His feet get really dry in the winter, as do all of ours, I'm sure. I know mine do as well. And um, I just got this for him because I know he was having issues with that last year, so I think that this might be helpful to him. And then I just got him a brush. This, instead of Uno, it's called Dose, <laughs> and they like playing the Uno card game. We have it at our lake house and the kids play it all the time, so I thought it would be fun just to have the Dose game. It's probably very similar, and I think he'll enjoy having that too. And then the last like non-food items that I purchased were these performance socks and these aloe-infused like camo socks. So I just think that nice warm fuzzy socks are nice to have in the winter months and he goes through socks so quick anyway so i think he'll definitely like and appreciate having these and i like that they're all like basic gray and black colors okay so we'll move on to some snack and candy items that i got he has these jalapeno meat snacks my son and my husband both like like beef jerky kinds of things, like Slim Jims and stuff like that. So I usually grab a couple of those types of things to include as well. And then this pizza in a bag. And I like the shape of this too. If you can see, it's wider at the top and then it goes more narrow. So it's really like the perfect size to slip into a stocking. And this is the pepperoni jerky, pepperoni pizza style. And then some of the candy items that I have gotten, and if you've watched my other stocking stuffer videos, you know, all of my kids are getting a Disney character <laughs> Pez in their stocking because that's just like the Disney and me coming out. You can see I have my Mickey Very Merry Christmas Party shirt on today. I went to the Christmas party this past weekend and it was so much fun, amazing trip. If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification if you're a Disney fan because I have so much stuff coming up in December to share with you guys. So this is what he's getting, this uh, Mickey Mouse Pez. And then of course my favorite Hershey Kisses. It's like white chocolate with little peppermint chips in it and it's just so good and they only sell it this time of year as far as I know and I always get a whole bunch of it. And then just regular Hershey Kisses as well. I always like having these candy canes because they really fit perfectly. Even if the stocking is super, super stuffed, I always seem to be able to manage to get these in it. So these are great. And then finally, I love that Hershey's has these really cute themed uh, chocolate bars. So this one is the cookies and cream with the nutcracker guy on it. And then this is just a regular Hershey's bar with the snowman. And I just think they're so cute and so much fun. And that is everything. <laughs> So that is all the stuff that I am putting in my 14 year old son's stocking. A lot of these items are things that I have um, given to him even when he was like 11, 12 years old. So I think that this covers a pretty wide range of ages. Even if you have like a 10, 11 year old all the way up to maybe like a 16, 17 year old, I think a lot of this stuff would be really relevant. So thank you so much for watching and I am going to share with you a giveaway that I'm doing on all of my stocking stuffer videos. I've done giveaways on all of my holiday guides and all of my stocking stuffer videos. So if you wanna participate in those giveaways, go check out those videos as well because I'm going to be calling all of the winners like very soon. So you still have an opportunity to participate. So in my stocking stuffers video, I have been sharing um, everybody. Is, I have three videos and these three prizes. So each person that wins is going to get a cute pair of socks. So these are socks that I think I got at Target. And then this, this one just says, Merry and Bright. This one says, Having a Meltdown. And then there's this little reindeer one, which is super cute and fuzzy. So you're going to win one of these pairs of socks. 
and also a $5 Dunkin Donuts gift card. So I know it's something small on my stocking stuffer giveaways, but it's still fun to have, you know, a $5 gift card for Dunkin. You can go get a cup of coffee or a cup of cocoa and put on your festive holiday socks and why not, right? So all that you need to do to participate is leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite item was from this stocking stuffer video and give this video a thumbs up and please make sure that you are subscribed because you need to be subscribed to win any of my giveaways that are currently going on this holiday season. And I will be calling the winner for the stocking stuffer prizes on December 10th. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, do all the stuff so that you can be in the contest and so that you can be updated every time I have a new and fun video to share. I hope you're all having a great holiday season. Take care, bye.